All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you how to use the Visual Basic script included with the Paper Call Affiliate Toolkit. Now, if you go ahead and open your toolkit, you can see the VBA script in here. And it just looks like a bunch of code. And you don't really need to make sense of it, you just need to understand how it works and why it's important to use it effectively. So to demonstrate an example, in an example, I'm gonna show you two keywords. National Hockey and Hockey National. These keywords are different as phrases, but when you're bidding with broad match modifiers, these keywords are essentially the same because the way a broad match modifier works is it simply needs to have that word in the keyword phrase somewhere in order for <clears throat> um, the search query to be eligible or in order for your keyword to be eligible for the search query to serve your ads. This poses a problem because we often work with very large keyword lists. And if you have a very large keyword list, um, simply removing duplicates is not enough. So if you have national hockey and national hockey in your keyword list because you say have pulled your large keyword list from several sources, The problem is when you typically just delete your duplicates in Excel, you still have what is essentially considered a duplicate because national hockey and hockey national are the same thing. They're just re-permuted, especially when we're using broad match modifiers. So we need a way to not only remove the duplicates, but also remove every re-permutation of keywords. So I have an example list here, and take a look at this list of six keywords. Every one of these keywords is separate as a phrase. So if we go into data, remove duplicates, which is how you typically remove them, no duplicate values found. But if we upload these with broad match modifiers as we typically do with our lists, we'll see in here 2013 National Hockey and 2013 National Hockey are the same thing and so is Hockey National 2013. If we're using broad match modifiers or the little plus signs in front of these, these three keywords are all gonna be competing for the same traffic and traffic is going to go to these three and we're, when we're looking at our data, we're gonna have dirty data and we don't want that. So we can fix this easy and we just use this script. So click this little button up here which is the Visual Basic script. Click Visual Basic on the sheet that we're working on, which is <clears throat> just the example one, book one here, double click on sheet one, and you want to have your list in set, starting in cell A1, and whether it's one to 100,000 keywords, make sure it's in cell A1 on a clean Excel sheet. It must be a clean Excel sheet, so open up a new um, Excel tab, put in your keyword list, delete all the permutations um, by using this script, and then you can uh, work with it from there. But go into the toolkit, open the Visual Basic script, copy the code, go back into Microsoft Excel, and open the Visual Basic program and just click Control V, and we're just gonna run this program. So we've run it. And now what it's done is it's removed all the permutations. This is actually a great example. Why didn't it remove these two? They're um, essentially the same thing or they have the same permutations of the words. It's because I failed to trim my list. So use the trim function. And what that does is that removes excess spaces on the end. So you can see there was a space on the end here. So now this is going to be our new list. Copy that in, values only. Now let's just open that script and run it yet again. Finally, and that's how this tool works. Really effective. We turned our list down to only three keywords, and now we're not going to be splitting our data up over eight. And when we look at the data, each broad match modifier phrase, so to speak, is <clears throat> encapsulates all permutations. We're not going to be bidding on re-permutations. So that's how you use the Visual Basic script. This is Clayton, and I hope this tutorial was helpful.